All right, folks, welcome back to another episode of Team Fight Manager. We are continuing our push in the uh, Pro League Division 2. Uh, last time we left off, we had climbed up to fourth. Uh, we brought our record up to 3 and 1 from a, a much worse uh, 1 and 1 start. Um, and I think right now we are just going to jump straight into the next match. We had kind of discovered that the healer meta uh, is what was currently taking off and winning us the games. So I think that's what we're going to continue trying to push for in, uh, in this episode. If we have the opportunity, we're going to continue to... Uh, Grab the healers, assuming that the AI doesn't take them first. <laughs> uh, there's a there's going to be a big focus on monk, shrine maiden, and priestess. Uh, they are banning shield bearer. Interesting. I'm going to hit lightning mage. Actually, I think they banned pyro. I'll hit Knight. I think they're gonna first pick Shrine. No, first pick Magic Knight. Okay. Uh, that should actually make this a lot easier for us. We're just gonna grab Shrine and Monk right off the bat. Uh, they got Taoist. Um, I think I get fighter in this situation. They're gonna pick up Sniper and Ice Mage. Interesting. Um... Hmm... Uh, I don't have anyone that's good as Archer, though. But I think Archer is the right play here, regardless. Uh, and Tempest is going to have to be our Archer for this time, which isn't terrible with Quick Cast. Uh, and Archer's, Archer's back ability. They don't have an assassin. I would have preferred to get Sniper onto Tempest, but Archer is going to be the next best thing. So we are going to start up as Monk and... Ooh, he is actually taking quite a bit of damage. But they do manage to uh, pick the Ice Mage. The uh, Magic Knight goes down. They can't. They haven't finished off the Sniper. There she goes. Uh, missed the towers with the alt there, which is unfortunate. They did a, a pretty good collapse there to capitalize on my frontline going down. Uh, but we definitely are still kind of... All the alts are gone, but we're winning the neutral game, I, I think. That was a great ability proc from Shrine Maiden. We still have 20 seconds left. We are up 12 to 7. Uh, fighter hunting down Magic Knight. Uh, Taoist getting picked by Archer. Someone please finish off Ice Mage. There we go. Magic Knight going down. Yeah, we are winning the neutral game. Uh, not as handily as I thought we would be at the very beginning. But, uh, definitely a pretty commanding victory there. Uh, be aggressive. Always be aggressive. Alright. Who do we want to ban here? I still don't want to see Lightning Mage. Or Taoist. They don't want to see Shrine Maiden happen. Okay. Uh, I will grab... 
Monk as my first pick. Shield Bearer, Magic Knight. Ugh, okay. Okay. I'll grab Sniper. They grab Swordsman. And then we will grab... Knight. And... Hmm. Do I go Priestess for the healing? I think we do. I think we have to. If they get Priestess, yeah, they took Pyro. I was going back and forth between Priestess and Pyro. I think Priestess is the better call here. I think this is going to be... Yeah, with Quick Cast on... Priestess, that'll be good. Uh, it's a little bit lower attack speed because of condition, but News of Victory, Smell of Blood, Coward is all going to be very, very good for a Sniper as well. Uh, let's do it here. As Monk and Knight go in to meet their front line, they have a pretty big front line, to be perfectly honest. They have a pretty big melee ball. Um, now, Sniper is going to be kind of building up in power over the course of this match. That was a very good Sniper ult, a very good uh, Priestess ult. That's also an unfortunately good Pyro ult, but Pyro does end up dropping. The Magic Knight is pulling everyone deep into their territory, but it doesn't really have a big effect on the team. Uh, all of the ults at this point are basically down. I'd love for Priestess to not be the front line. <laughs> that would be amazing. Uh, but it looks like Pyro came forward a little bit too far, but didn't quite get picked. Swordsman came out and got picked instead, which I would have loved to have finished off Pyro there. It's very, very close. Very big uh, endgame conversions there, because that game could have gone either direction up until that last second. Oh, but we do get the win, and we do actually push up, uh, one position on the board. Uh, an interview has been requested by reporter, by a reporter, from Pineapple Sports. Pika Blues is on a winning streak these days. Do you think you will advance to the finals? How would you like to answer a... Uh, if the players maintain their skills, it'll be worth a try. Okay. Pika Blues is on a great run under Coach Silence and Management. Pika Blues has recorded four wins and one loss in the last five matches. Give me one second, folks. Sorry about that, my cat was causing a commotion out in the front room. <laughs> Pika Blues is on a great run. Under Coach Sans management, Pika Blues has recorded four wins and one losses in the last five matches. In the last match, Coach, Coach Silent has utilized his pick band to form his team around Monk as the main champion. There are concerns that other teams will be able to hold Monk in check. But experts are adamant that Silent has a few more cards up his or her sleeves. Ah, uh, we might actually at this point with the new meta. <laughs> not, not gonna lie. But we are gonna jump right into the next match. Cause I'd love to get as many matches in as I can this episode. I am so concerned that we're just 4-1, though. I don't know what's gonna what champions are going to get introduced next, but I want to be in a good 
position in the league. That way, even if we, even if it takes a little bit longer to figure out the meta of the next half, uh, we can still make it to the playoffs at the very least. They're five and zero, oh, huh? Okay. Hmm. Yep, first pick on Shrine Maiden. Just Berserker as a front line, huh? Interesting. Now, I want Berg on Shield Bearer. Yeah, I think that's going to be our best option. Uh, we're going to have uh, Jimmy Jotep on Sniper, King of Hyrule on Monk, Tempest on. Priestess and Berg on Shield Bear. Uh, he's gonna be super durable. Especially with the quick cast Priestess support. Let's jump right on into it. No, they do have a Swordsman as a front line as well, but Swordsman is not the most durable of champions out there, though he did with the, the support hold out fairly long. Um, not the greatest Priestess all. Very, very good shield bear ult there, and a good monk ult to keep their sustain up and keep them both alive right at the very beginning. Uh, we have not seen Pyromancer's ult, and I am dreading the Berserker ult proc. I wish we could kill Berserker, because him just being there alive is going to be a big problem as we progress forward. That's a good Pyromancer ult, a good, uh... Shrine Maiden all a good Swordsman all They've equalized it very quickly. There's the uh, Berserker. That's going to pull them ahead. God, it... Shrine Maiden is just so strong right now. It's like I need to ban Shrine Maiden if I don't have first pick almost. Like, Shrine Maiden alone was able to sustain that entire team. We got unlucky this match. Uh, we should have won this match, to be fair. There was no good answer in there, though, so <laughs> I don't know what you wanted me to say. Hmm. Yeah, they banned Shrine Maiden. Okay. Biter, interesting. And Ice Mage, okay. They grab Knight. Yeah, they have a big ball of melee, huh? Hmm. Um... I think this will be the best option. I'm not happy with, uh, 
Tempest being on Sniper, though. But getting 10% more uh, of those uh, abilities will be really nice. Uh, again, why do we never get a good Pyromancer ult? Pyromancer dropping an absolutely worthless ult, completely whiffing their entire team. <laughs> uh, Monk is back up, though, and in that time, uh, Shieldbearer has not gone down, and that's kind of going to be telling of how this entire fight is going to go. Uh, with the big ball of melee, Pyromancer, Sniper, when they can't get through the front line, uh, these two are going to absolutely dominate, as you can tell by the current, uh, kill counts here. Uh, a big whiff on that Swordsman ult at the very end, but it's not even going to matter. Uh, like, commanding victory in Game 2. I think you pretty much carried the team. You know what? I'm counting on your continued good performance. You're not happy with that. I don't care. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. Okay. Uh... We're gonna hit Lightning Mage. They hit Taoist. I, I can't let them have Shrine Maiden. Ninja. Okay. Night Monk. They grab Fighter. Hmm. It's gonna be an archer game, honestly. Swordsman and Pyro, okay. Interesting. Let's grab Magic Knight. We'll put Magic Knight uh, with King of Hyrule. Marksman uh, Archer is going to go on Jimmy Joe Tap. And we're going to have the quick cast on Monk. We are still giving early ult. Let's do it. We have a big front line that's going to go in and meet them. Our only healing is Monk, which is a little unfortunate, but it shouldn't be the end of the world. I... Archer is not doing quite as much damage as I was hoping. There's the Archer ult. That did some big damage there. The Knight ult coming in. The Magic Knight ult. The mo <laughs> Everyone's ulting on our team. Uh, it did get us a decently big lead. And yes, we are seeing Archer's uh, ability still coming in watch for dodging the ninja kills except for you know right there in that one particular instance uh big pyromancer ult coming down big swordsman ult sweeping through the team uh they did get onto our respawn point which is very unfortunate um it is going to be very close coming into these last few seconds uh, we just need to hold on, prevent them from converting any kills, because we're not converting anything at this point right now. Um, but we did manage to just hold on, pulling away a two-kill victory over the Lazy Lighthouses. Yeesh. And that jumps to first. Alright, we have... We found the meta, boys. Let's go. All right, let's see. Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one on Ghost. Attack, defense, attack, defense, Magic Knight. They got absolutely nothing, which is to be expected. Uh, we have three weeks out from crafting that. Uh... 
Um, where is the one I'm looking for? Oh, it's 5,000 to add another sponsor slot. I'd, I'd love to be able to do that. Um, we are four off of our sponsor goal, though, which is not bad. We will definitely be getting that. And that actually... That'll pay us a considerable chunk of change. And if I can get an additional sponsor slot for starting next season, that'll be just a ton of uh, revenue coming in. Uh, yeah, there's no way we're bringing in either of our subs. I, I don't think this entire season. The difference in abilities and base stats is just too huge to be overcome by uh, a minor attack speed buffer nerf. Uh, who do we want to ban? Yeesh. Uh... They did the sniper band for me. Okay. Well, I will grab Shrine Maiden. Pyro makes sense. Monk makes sense. Yeah. Uh... We're gonna grab... Knight. Fighter. Okay. Hmm. I think in this situation, we have to go... Archer and Magic Knight. Ice Mage, okay. Um... And I think we're gonna do it like this. Uh, Shrine Main is actually going to go down on the Tempest for the quick cast while uh, Jimmy Jotep gets uh, the Archer. Uh, we are going to let uh, King of Hyrule play as uh, Magic Knight this match. And Berg is going to be on our Knight as our big frontline tank and dank with the Iron Body and the News of Victory and the Competitive. And God, that's just such a good tank grouping of abilities. It's so good. And he, with especially with the healing coming out from Shrine Maiden, he is going to be able to sustain for quite a long period of time. I wish Tempest was not kind of shuffling back and forth. I am shocked that they are this even on us. But very good Pyromancer ult is going to help them catch up a little bit. Good uh, ult, ult there from Fighter as well. They are actually in the lead right now. I maybe should have gone for a slightly bulkier uh, character than Magic Knight, but I think Magic Knight will end up being very uh, good in this. But maybe not. Might not be enough damage. Okay, we've equalized it, we've converted onto Ice Mage, I, not having Monk is brutal, yeah, they ended up taking the win by one kill, it was very tight there, uh, Pyro just went ham. Meanwhile, uh, Jimmy Jotep, not able to do the damage, convert the kills needed to, uh, really bring that up. Okay. 
we had this game. Uh, it was a close game. Small mistakes. Yes, you're not happy with that either. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that was a, a very close match there. Uh, how do we do this? Next the Berserker. Lightning Mage. Magic Knight. Shrine Maiden. They first picked Pyro again. Uh, yeah. Monk Sniper. They grabbed Ninja. Let's grab Knight. They took Priestess and Taoist. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um. Have enough damage. Uh, I think we grab Ice Mage, honestly. Just to deal with the ninja, uh, we are gonna put Sniper onto Jimmy Joe Tap. Ooh, the quicker freeze would be really solid here. I think that's what we're gonna do. Monk and Knight jumping into the front lines. I'd love if they could keep it close enough for Sniper to do her job. Barely, though. Ah, uh, I don't know what actually just slowed down Sniper's movement speed there. Not a great ultimate from Sniper. Can you please, Ice Mage, like, lock down the ninja? Like, it's your entire goal for being picked. But, like, preferably before it kills Sniper. <laughs> uh, this is not going well. Ice Mage is just not converting the abilities. We have Knight and Ice Mage, and we still haven't been able to lock down Ninja from uh, getting onto our Sniper. And that's a huge problem. Uh, without... Uh, some way to keep Ninja in control. This match is not going to turn around. Yeah. Ninja 8, 5, and 2. Just hard carried their team. And we had two counter champions for it. Because I predicted the pick, but it just it didn't matter. Ah. Oh, Pyro went off again with 71 hack by the end. Jeez. Alright. Well, that was a very unfortunate loss there. Um. God. Okay. Oof. I need to actually, like, start using Pyro and a Priestess again, just to complete that, uh, sponsor goal. But, folks, I believe that's gonna have to be, uh, for next time. Uh, again, if you are enjoying this series, please do consider leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, it's free, you can unsubscribe any time, and I am a small channel that's trying to grow, so it really does help me out a bit, uh, quite a bit. If you want to have someone on the team named after you, leave a comment down below this video or any of my other Teamfight Manager videos in this series. And folks, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace!